For the longest time ever, people have been wondering what happened to Apollo Gorilla Tag. He was a YouTuber with over 100,000 subscribers who all of a sudden just disappeared from the internet. Some people thought he died. Some people thought he was just taking a break. But no one really knew the right answer until today. I actually sat down with Apollo and I asked him what happened, as well as we found out how he got to the position where he is now. So stick around and subscribe. I'm trying to hit my goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So would I be right in saying this is like the first time you've appeared anywhere in like a year? Or am I incorrect about that? Um, I believe since the last video I posted. It's been a year and a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's about accurate. There's a lot of pressure then for your random comeback. I don't, I don't know that this is a comeback. I'm just, I'm just saying hi. The first question I'm gonna have to ask is what made you, you know, want to do this? Um, well, I, I just wanted wanted to make sure people knew I wasn't dead. That's the main thing. Uh, you know, I didn't just like fall down and die all of a sudden. People should probably know that I'm at least alive. And hopefully they stop pinging me in Discord, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, and by the way, for the people wondering, Apollo will leave a comment on this video so you know that it's not fake. A lot of people seem to think I fake my interviews, which is kind of funny. Oh. That is that is really bad. I I think you're like the most credible interview guy on all of, you know, Gorilla Tag. So you make great interviews. Didn't you interview me earlier? Uh yeah, you were you were on my podcast last year. Yep, yep. I remember that. It was me, you, and Iden. I do. Oh yeah. The actual real first question is, how did you find out about Gorilla Tag? I think I saw it on Steam, on like the front page of Steam, and I was like, that looks like a goofy, fun, goofy game. And I, I see a lot of games on Steam, a lot of times I'm kind of like a, a bad purchaser, and so I just randomly get stuff on Steam, but this this game was free, and I'm like, no way, it's free. And and I had a VR, and I'd just gotten it, I played a bit of Pavlov and stuff, but I never really like gotten into VR, so I was like, oh, this would be a super fun game to try out, so I hopped in, I was in the tutorial, I was really really bad at the game like I couldn't get out of the tutorial for a good five minutes but then I just I just kept playing uh, I guess I just really like climbing things like in real life I'm a big climber I just always like to climb stuff um, and at least in VR I can fall down and not die True. Okay, so what games did you play, you know, before Gorilla Tag that were in VR? Oh, I guess I partially answered that already that I played Pavlov and uh, Shoot what else have I played? I played like a random Spider-Man simulator. <laughs> it seems that everybody plays Pavlov before they play Gorilla Tag. It's like that transition. <laughs> I think Pavlov is like the biggest game in VR before Gorilla Tag. I can't remember any other VR games. Um, wh why did you want to start posting on YouTube? I actually, I think I've heard some of these questions from VMT and I'm like partially prepared to answer them, just random aside, but uh, I just had like a lot of knowledge about Gorilla Tag, like I played the game a lot and I got good at the game and I started teaching people things about the game like while I was playing to get them to be better because I just wanted the whole community to be better because when I jumped into a random competitive lobby, everybody sucked. So back then you couldn't just like find good players, there weren't like comp pings, I don't know if everybody knows what that is, but you, you didn't have have these options to find good players and so I just had to like make everybody else good players and so I would like teach them things and I kept teaching them like the same few things over and over again so eventually I just decided to make a few videos and that's what the first few videos on my channel are plus some videos where I just like fuck around with editing you know I would like to make it clear that before I started doing YouTube I had no background in any like digital art or editing or anything so I'm I really like Everything that I've done with video editing has been for my channel. And every time I'm making a video, even now, I still have to like look up tutorials for every single thing I'm doing because I have not gotten good at any part of editing. I just do it for the video. Okay, so upon like posting your videos, did you see any momentum with it at the start? Like, did you think you had something going or was that like kind of a slow process? You know, I hear a lot of people talk about like how they had five years where like they got zero views and then all of a sudden the one video finally shot them up. But I think I just like got exponentially more views every video. So like my first video got like 10 views and then the second one got like 50 and then the third one got 100 and then all of a sudden I was at 1000 and then 
10,000 and then 100,000 and then a million. And it just kind of like, it all kept being exponential. And then I kind of, you know, eventually you top off. You don't just like keep growing forever. But yeah, it was just kind of crazy growth that I was not expecting at all. And the whole time I was like, what, what, a, what the heck is going on? I didn't know that this is going to happen. I was just fucking around in Gorilla Tag. So obviously I wasn't too OG at Gorilla Tag. So what was the OG days of Gorilla Tag actually like? Because I know you were relatively OG to the game. Oh yeah, everybody was a lot worse than today. There was no Lucio running. Um, I see a lot of people doing that today and they they just like run faster than me, even when like they're the normal monkey and I'm the lava monkey and it really pisses me off um, <laughs> because I've realized I'm, you know, I'm washed and old and they can just go faster than me, which is crazy. Um, it's just, it's so impressive, honestly, so impressive. But back then everybody was just a lot worse. They didn't know how to branch. They didn't know how to do anything. Well, there were a few people that were just like way up there and then everybody else was like, you know, medium. So like, I remember back in the day, my favorite players it was the demon team. They won a CGT champion way back, but like Fizzin, Sluz, Charwi, Pig was around. I know a lot of people know Pig. Um, so speaking of Com Gorilla Tag, you ended up joining TTT at one point. I met this guy named Potato, and he was my like tutor for a while. He taught me things. He was really good at the game. Um, and when I first met him, I sucked, and he was infinitely better than me. Like I couldn't even wall run, and he was like going straight up the wall, no problem. And so he kind of encouraged me. He was like that one player that was way better than everybody, and I aspired to be him. I got better, and then eventually I was able to challenge him. And then eventually he was like, hey, you know, you're good enough. Do you want to join my team? And back then, TTT, the, lead, the captain of TTT's name was Dan, and Dan was really funny. Uh, that's how I got into TTT, it was through Potato. And then I just kind of stayed for a long time. I joined right at the same time that Mosa joined TTT. Me and Mosa were kind of like buds. And Mosa also kind of encouraged me to do YouTube because I saw his videos. What was your, in your eyes, your first viral video on YouTube? Was it sneaking into a competitive lobby one? That one went way viral. Um, 4.8 million views, I think it is, or 4.6 million, something like that. Like I, that. Don't, I don't, I don't check the stats that recently, but I know it's over 4 million. Yeah, well, like, what do you, what do you think of that? Like having a video with that many views on YouTube? I don't really know how to quantify that many people in my mind. Yeah, you have to like fathom that. It's like I don't, I don't really know what to think about it. I, I just like I didn't even think that was like my best video at the time. I just thought it was like something I threw out. Crazy fun fact about the video is that I actually was needed to board a flight during the recording of that video. Like it was kind of a last minute thing, and so the entire video, um, my dad is yelling at me to like, oh, come on, we need to go. We gotta board the flight. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. And if I had listened to him and left early and just like scrapped the video, that whole 4.6 million would never have happened because, you know, I wouldn't have finished the recording, it wouldn't have happened. We still made the flight, but yeah, we still made the flight. It would be funny you missed over a Gorilla Tag video. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's definitely worth it if it was, um, yeah, if it did that well. Um, so I feel like a big significant moment that a lot of people seem to mention to this day is the wall running the map for an hour. So what gave you the idea to film that video? I like the idea of challenges, um, like absurd challenges that are kind of masochistic in a way. Um, like I saw, I forget what it was. It was like some Final Fantasy player trying to eat 10,000 eggs in 24 hours or something like that. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, um, but there's lots of different like stupid challenges that people do online. And I thought that was just like a fun thing that I could do. I liked wall running. I wanted to get better at it. Um, and it, it seemed like it would present some fun challenges. So I, I went for it <laughs> and it took way longer than I wanted it to. Um, but I, I did get it in the end. Yeah. How, how did it feel, you know, finally doing it, I guess? I was just relieved and I was done. I was so tired. I was <laughs> exhausted by then. I did not want to be in VR anymore. Do you think it was more of a struggle because you like had streamed it? So you had to like also try and be entertaining to your audience or? Well, that's why I, in the end, the final attempt where I did succeed was off stream. Because when I was on stream, I would constantly be trying to entertain people and I'd be thinking I'd have to look at the chat to do all these things. And I couldn't just focus on just doing the wall running. And so I think going off stream was what finally helped me out. It definitely made it a lot better. Um, so you did a lot of custom map videos, like, you know, like hide and seek and stuff like that. What kind of gave you the idea to start doing these custom map videos? Um, I got bored. 
Uh, and I didn't like Lemming's other maps at the time. It was like canyons and canyons. Just personal opinion. I don't, I don't hate Lemming or anything, but that was not like a great map. Caves, the old caves, not the, the brand new one that I, old caves, not very fun either. So I was just like, I need something else to play on and custom maps seemed like the perfect thing. And so I learned how to make the custom maps. Uh, that's another situation where like, I had no idea how to do anything. And I just spent hours and hours troubleshooting. There's so many errors that come up when you're trying to like, add move stuff from Minecraft to the other thing and I should honestly make a tutorial because it's such a pain in the ass to do it. Uh, I did it, it was super fun and people seem to like it on the internet too so I just kept doing uh, custom map videos because I didn't know what else to do in regular gorilla tag. Yeah if you're out of ideas guys just make a custom map video. Yeah, that's 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 what I think. <laughs> the ultimate cheat sheet to Gorilla Tag YouTube. I feel like you have a pretty, you know, significant video style to like other people. What kind of inspired you to make the videos the way you made them? I, I think my inspirations when it came to YouTube was probably Minecraft YouTubers. So like Technoblade, I like Dream. I just think that they had the style of YouTube down very well and I liked their videos. So something like that is really inspiring to me. I can't remember what else. Oh, I don't know if you know him, but Virtual, he's a track main YouTuber, but he taken like a very small niche game and made it very popular because of his channel alone. And I think that's very impressive. Uh, stuff like that. I think I've actually ripped off one of his intros once. I just like took his intro and I reworded it for Gorilla Tag. Well, yeah, I mean, that's like how YouTube works now. You just really take something and then add your own kind of spin on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so I suppose we move to the big question that um, will have been put in the intro to make people watch all the way through. Where have you been all this time? I gotta be honest, I've just been like other things doing. I, I haven't really been thinking about Gorilla Tag. It hasn't been an intentional, like, it hasn't been like an intentional thing. I, I just have had a lot of other things happen in life and I've been focusing on other things. Not bad things, you know, I'm not dying. Nobody in my family is dying. You know, I've just been doing other things, have other opportunities. What is your main priority, you know, other than doing YouTube right now? This year it's been school. Are you in school or are you in college? Uh, this year, I've been in uh, high school, it's my last year of high school, um, moving into college. So I had to apply to colleges. I got into college, thank God. And next year I'm going to college. So uh, I don't know if you'll see any of me while I'm in college, given that, you know, college is college and everything. But, but that's the main reason is school. And I've been focusing on other things. Are you able to like say what those are? Or do you want to keep those private? Uh, sure, I, I, can, I can tell you some things. I um, play an instrument, I play the tuba. Um, Oh, musician. So I, I do that a lot. Band is a lot of my time. Marching band. Um, I do martial arts. I do Taekwondo. That takes a lot, a lot of my weekends, a lot of my free time, because I travel for Taekwondo constantly. Actually, I'm traveling like this week for Taekwondo for three days. Um, that's a big use of my time. Uh, and I, you know, have school, schoolwork. I'm not a, like, casual student. I take school very seriously. I'm actually, um, I think my biggest calling in life is math, which is <laughs> kind of funny given that. Yeah. So like what, what's like your main study? Like what's your focus, you know, trying to go for? Uh, computer science and math. That's what I'm really going to do. Um, cause you know, I love math. I love numbers and things. In, in, in Scotland, we have like, especially in my school, we had one of the worst educations like in the world possibly oh my god so i i came out of school and i can't even tell you what 12 times 8 is so <laughs> you have any plans maybe in the future to come back or have you just been you know done with it i've been playing some gorilla tag recently uh but i haven't been doing anything serious uh and it's really hard to play like casually when you can't talk and like people still recognize my voice to today have you ever like admit to anybody that it's, that it's you or uh, no. I usually just say, like, you know, everybody sounds like Apollo. You can't... I, I don't sound like Apollo. And there's there's one guy in particular that might see this video, and he's gonna be like, that was Apollo! I guess that concludes it. The last question I will ask you is, out of, you know, all the YouTubers, who would you like to see on my little show next? Um... Well, obviously, J-Man. I feel like everybody wants J-Man. It's like, it's like, you got VMT. You need to get J-Man. <laughs> you know, it's like, a, it's like a duo. You gotta get both of them. Thank you for, uh coming onto the little show. Do you want to say anything to the audience before this cuts to black? Oh, uh, I'm not dead. Don't, don't say I'm dead. And stop pinging me on Discord, please. <laughs> stop pinging me on Discord, okay, please. <laughs>